but a very different kind of empire. They're a rather liberal empire. I mean, and the Romans would, you know, just march into Egypt and take the grain. And if any Egyptians disagreed, finished. Here, what happened was, quite remarkable, wasn't it? I mean, German entrepreneurs, German business, voluntarily sent 70% constantly from the, from the 1970s onwards to Wall Street to be invested because they were getting higher rates of return with the financialization of Wall Street. So it's not even extortion, it's a voluntary scheme, but it is completely an unsustainable scheme, you know what I mean? Because think about it, okay? Um, take Germany, since we are in Germany, right? Um, the German business model is no longer sustainable because it was predicated upon being able to sell intermediate goods, primarily intermediate goods in the, the, the last 10, 15 years to China. The new Cold War is ending that. And cheap natural gas from Vladimir Putin. That is ended. Gone. Okay? So you can't have a system pre built on German net exports anymore. Mm -hmm. And you can't have a system built on Chinese net financial exports either because the Chinese will stop doing it. They're scared that they will, that their, their you know, trillions will be confiscated. So whether, even if we loved the original of globalization, we have to be pragmatic and recognize that it cannot be continued. And what, what comes in its place? What comes in its place needs to be designed. We need to sit around the table and talk about it in the same way that we did in 1944 in New Hampshire, huh? at Bretton Woods. But how, how are we going to do this? We have a serious problem there. Firstly, America and China are not talking to one another. The European Union is absent, it doesn't exist. I mean, if you are American, who do you speak to if you want to speak to Europe? There's no one. You don't speak to Ursula. Olaf Scholz nobody speaks to anymore. Macron speaks, but nobody listens. <laughs> Greece? <laughs> and it would be great to have a few more voices around the table. Yeah, but then I have too many voices. But we don't want to talk to them. I mean, we, the we, we can't have the table. This new Cold War is ending it. And so we need it in order to restore a financial order globally and in order to coordinate our investments so as not to kill ourselves like stupid, stupid viruses that kill the organism in which they live.